Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I apologize in advance if the glare on my glasses is driving me crazy, <laughs> but my contacts were bothering my eyes, so I had to put my glasses on. I was just gonna make one more video about the USDA Direct Loan Program. I'm just answering some of the questions you guys have asked me, and then I think I'll probably have covered all the topics if you have any more questions, then please just let me know. The first question that I will start out with is how do you apply? I am going to um, screen record myself, go onto their website, and there's um, a self-assessment tool that you put in your income and all of your payments you have to make if you have a car payment or credit card payments or anything like that and it will give you an estimate on what you might get approved for for a house. So I'm gonna take you through those steps real quick and then I will be right back. I will have this website linked down below for you guys. I am just going to click on purchase a single family home. You could also pick to build a home, pick your state. I am in Indiana, so I will pick that and then I am just going to pick a random county. This is where you put in your family information. You as the applicant, you can put your husband or wife can be your co-applicant, but if they don't have good credit, then I would suggest putting them as another adult household member instead of a co-applicant, then they won't look into their credit. So put your kids on here if you have any. Um, your estimated property taxes, I'm just gonna put what ours actually is, which is 600. The, the annual insurance is about a thousand. No homeowners association fees. This is where you will put your income in. If you have a nine to five kind of job, you will put it right there. We are self-employed, so click on add a column and self-employment. That is also where you can add disability and social security and things like that. Now this is based off of a $30,000 annual income. Your monthly income would be 2,800. I'm just doing this to give you guys an example of what you can get approved for for this amount. This is where you put in your debts. If you have a car payment or credit card payments or whatever, I just picked credit card and $80 a month payments. And then this will ask if you have any delinquent debts. Just go through all of these questions. You can answer them honestly. They will not deny you for any of these. We actually had the 30 days past due payments within the last two years. We had that and we still got approved. Um, and then it will tell you that it appears to be a good fit or not and the amount that you are approved for. So off of only a $30,000 a year income, you can still get approved for a 260 something thousand dollar home. And if you want to apply for this program, you can click on contact us, mm -hmm. click on your state and the county once again. And then it will bring up a list of offices that is close to your area. If you have one in your area, you can just go in there and grab an application and turn it in with them and everything. Myself, we did not live near any of these. I just emailed all of them. Somebody emailed me back with the application and we just solely communicated through email. Every step of this process was through email. Okay, now that you guys know how to apply and have a good idea on what you can be approved for, the next question is the approval requirements, which is basically you have to have a job. You have to have like, I think it's a two year stable income. And if you don't, that's okay too. You just have to explain why there was a mix in jobs or 
whatever your situation is, the credit requirements. So if you have a score that is 640 or higher, you will just pass on through with flying colors. If you have late payments on credit cards or um, if you have anything bad on your report, it does not matter as long as your score is at least 640 or higher, you will just pass on through with flying colors and they won't even look at your credit history. If it is below 640 or if you have no credit at all, that's okay too. They still try to work with everybody. Um, I know that if it is under 640, then you have to show two forms of proof that you've paid payments somewhere on time for the last six months or something like that. It might even be two years worth, I'm not sure. But so your rent, get a statement from your landlord or someone saying that you have made on time payments for the last six months or two years or whatever the time frame is, you'll find out. They'll tell you everything you need once you apply. But um, so you can do your rent, your electric bill, your water bill, your phone bill, anything that you have a good track record of on time payments, they need two of those. Um, and then it doesn't matter what your score is. Oh, and I had a friend we told about this program. He applied right after we did and he had lots of late payments on his credit cards and um, a lot of negative credit history and the loan officer had just asked him for letters of explanation for each different thing and he is actually closing on a house today so it seems like they really really try to work with everybody um, someone else asked when you have to pay to take the first time home buyers class and that is right after you get approved you have a certain amount of time to get this class done and in my area it costs about $75 to take. The next question someone asked was how to find a good real estate agent or like any tips that I have to help you find one and mine would be to just call call multiple realtors and ask them if they have ever dealt with a USDA loan before. Um, we called like 10 different ones, honestly, and we finally found one who said that they had, they were aware of it. They knew the rules. Um, it's nice to find someone who has some type of knowledge on the USDA loan so that you're not wasting anybody's time because there are rules like it obviously has to be in a rural area, but you'd be so surprised as what qualifies as rural. Um, our home that we purchased, it has that country fill but we're like five minutes from being in the middle of town. Well, not the middle of town, but like a side of town that has a lot of things. Um, it doesn't bother me at all because I don't want to live in the middle of town. I don't want to live in an addition or anything. So getting a home um, on the outskirts of town, regardless of what type of loan I was getting, that's what I would be looking for anyways. So that didn't bother me at all. Um, also, you can get a house that is over 2,000 square feet, but that does not count basements. So say you got a house that was 2,000 square feet, but it also had a 2,000 square foot basement that had bedrooms in it and it was finished and it had a living room and a kitchen and all that, that would not count towards your living space. So you would still be able to get that home. Um, and here in Indiana, there's a rule that you can't get an in-ground swimming pool. I know that those are common in Florida and California and places like that. So I'm not sure how that rule works, if that is even a rule. If you live in those areas, you'll just have to check with your office. But that is a rule in Indiana. And I guess that is all of the questions that you guys have asked me. Um, if you have any more, then just comment them down below. And if I know the answer, I will try to help you out. Like I mentioned in the beginning of my video, this is probably going to be my last one about the USDA direct loans, unless I have multiple requests or even just a single request. Um, if I have a request to make another video answering, going over certain topics, then I will happily do that. I, 
I made this channel for like DIYs and home makeovers and um, things of that nature. So this will probably be my last video about this. And um, if you are interested in, we just bought this $18.99 home. That's a 123 year old home and it's in excellent condition everything is but there's just some painting and certain certain little things that i want to do and if you're interested in watching me fix this old home up then i would love it if you subscribed um and i'll probably do a little bit of vlogging a little bit of cleaning stuff like that so if you are interested in that i would love to have you subscribe Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.